so I forgot to take this off. In a previous uh, video, I discussed how, like, reasons why people shouldn't move to uh, Utah, but I'm going to change that up a little bit and say don't move to a specific, yeah, Salt Lake County, specific county within the state itself. Um, hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So... The reason I say this is because of certain aspects. It's, first of all, if you look online, you'll see that people have a tendency to give off. Like, it says that the air quality here is great. It's in the green, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's not. It's... Should I have you do this instead? Sure. No. Oh, goodness. But, yeah, it's because of a lot of forest fires that have been happening recently in California. That's the end result spreads and ends up over here, uh, which means the air, pol air, the air, air quality here is getting really bad. And that's just not in this particular, in that particular county, Salt Lake County, it's any of them. Um, that's like one thing, though. I guess there is one factor that's kind of a little bit, a lot of it, more problematic than that. And as much as I love the idea and the, the protection that's provided from these individuals when done properly. Police officers in Salt Lake County have a tendency to get very selective and just do whatever just for the sake of meeting quotas and just because they're bored. I mean, for heaven's sake. Um, a perfect example of this is while in courtrooms here, I've noticed that 50% of the circumstances are people speeding, but I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of you guys I'm sure have noticed, who live in the U.S., I'm sure noticed that um, if you go over 10, like uh, 9, between 1 to 9 miles above the speed limit, you're off scotch free, no one seems to care. Not if you live in that county. It, apparently, if you live there, you even go one mile over and you're screwed. Yeah. It's it's kind of dumb. <laughs> I mean... it It's to the point where I start to feel like... Now... I should point out that there, are, there is another county in the state that still have dumb cops as well. Not this dumb, though. And the only reason I see the, another county does is just due to the fact that I've lived in both counties prior like to this recording, and I, I believe it's both counties. If not, then... I visited uh, Salt Lake County enough to where I can at least claim these things. Um, but the alternative county has a tense, uh, U Utah County being the other county, it's got cops where you can tell they're bored, but at least they're not stupid. They don't pull people over for no reason and give them like tickets for no reason. In Salt Lake County, they do. And m meaning basically, if you're planning on moving to Utah, don't drive. Do not drive. <laughs> Make sure you live close to where you work and do not drive. Use Instacart for food, like for groceries, for items. Amazon for different like items if you need to get something that's not groceries. Um... If you need to go long distances, 
at that point, sure, drive. Just make sure you avoid. Look up the different paths that don't do you justice and go down the other paths. Because... One comparison, so Pink Fox and I were sitting in a courtroom at a point a while back. This was actually a ways ago. Um, I actually can't remember, even remember the reason it was for. I think it was just to watch because of boredom. But one thing that I think we ended up talking about was just the factor that of the amount of boredom that like these people have. It's like, and, and while talking about this... I ended up bringing up the idea that it's like they're ninjas. It's like they're not there, and suddenly they're there. Now, this is a lot. what a lot of people would say about cops. They'll be like, oh, I'm driving, and suddenly they're there. I'm like, mm, you probably weren't paying attention. But sometimes it's like they're – so there are dirt paths everywhere in this state outside of, like, the actual main streets. Sometimes I feel like they're parked somewhere in the dirt path and they're just, like, waiting for something to happen. For, like, the most minuscule, minuscule thing. And, again, when you're, like, driving one or two miles over the speed limit, they come out of nowhere. They come out of said dirt path. And I'm like, whatever. Yeah. So, I guess advi reiterating on advice... If you plan on mainly driving and not walking to locations, don't move to Utah. <laughs> or at least the northern part of Utah. That's the best advice I can give you. Anyway, going to head off. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch you guys later. Bye.